Here that, now is Governor Jim Gilmore, former presidential candidate and former Republican governor of Virginia, and of course, so was Tim Kaine. Uh, governor, thank you for joining us. I, I just want to, for those who might have missed last night, we, we've got a little short clip that shows you essentially what Tim Kaine's strategy was against Mike Pence. Let's just play that and get your reaction. He's employed tens of thousands of people in this country and, and paid a few taxes and lost a, a million a dollars reputation. a year. The newly, newly emboldened the aggression of Russia, whether it was in uh, Ukraine or now you, their you heavy handed Russia. approach. She, she had a, a Clinton Foundation accepting contributions from foreign governments. You, and you foreign are Donald Trump, uh, donors. Trump's apprentice. Now, ignoring the moderator, Governor, uh, who probably should have stepped in to, to, to stop the interruptions. Bottom line is, Tim Kaine didn't seem to want to win the debate necessarily. He just wanted to throw out as much dirt as possible on Donald Trump. Do you think he was at all successful in that regard? No, I think he uh, shot himself in the foot. I think most people believe that he looked like a child at the dinner table that didn't know how to behave, really. And I think that his strategy wasn't just to interrupt. It was to actually shout down for, uh, Pence and to not give him the opportunity to make right. his case. But in the end... I'm going to just tell you, David, I think that the American people that saw it understand exactly what I'm saying. The Democrats have no case for election. No case. What came through loud and clear is that they're going to continue to raise taxes. They're going to try to stop productivity in this country. They're going to continue on with the same low growth. They're going to have a lawless immigration uh, policy. And the international security of this country is in grave danger because of Obama and Clinton. And they're just going to keep trying to do the same well, thing. Governor, the getting back to the debate for a second, uh, the, yeah. the, the point is, is, that, is that Mike Pence is getting a lot of pats on the back saying, you weren't drawn in. What, what was clear was that uh, Tim Kaine was trying to draw you in, trying to bait you in on these issues, these specific issues, some of which had nothing to do with either with what they were talking about, but he was just trying to draw him. Uh, Mike Pence was not drawn. He was not baited into that conversation or that kind of defense. Is Donald Trump capable of the same, same strategy, capable of avoiding uh, that? I, I agree, and I think the viewers would agree that, that Pence was very much a gentleman and very self-composed and not uh, sucked into some sort of mudslinging contest with Tim Kaine. And Donald Trump, I'm going to come back to what I was saying. Donald Trump's going to be fine if he goes to the issue, particularly the growth of the economy. The economy is not growing. It came through loud and clear last night, the difference between the two parties. If Donald Trump simply addresses the growth of the economy and the national security of this country, he's going to follow on with more and more momentum from the successful Well, Hillary debate. clearly is going to try to do the same thing that Tim Kaine did. I mean, she tried it before in the first debate and, and drawing him in. And frankly, he took the bait on a couple of uh, those issues. She's uh, hunkering down. She's not on the campaign trail today. Donald Trump is. He's in Nevada right now. Should he be studying to, to sort of avoid those traps? I don't see any problem with preparing. I always prepare for debates every time that I've debated either at the state or the national level. But at the end of the day, if he sticks to the fact, if he tells the American people what he wants to do, talks as seriously about the lousy economy we've got and the lack of opportunities, that will, of course, get more votes for in places like, for example, Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania and Virginia. And I think that he'll continue to gain that momentum. And I'm, I'm pretty excited for his opportunity. Well, we're, we're excited about the debate. It'll be on Sunday night. Governor Gilmore, thank you very much. Good to see you.